Hey everyone, Calvin here with a long overdue video of my uh, shoreline. Here in this video we're actually going to be side milling this piece of steel. I'm unsure of the grade that it is, but it mills and acts like it's low carbon steel, so that's what I'm going to assume it is. I'm trying to turn it into a little um, 90 degree angle plate, so right now I'm just trying to rough the sides out on it. Here we have a four flute quarter inch coarse tooth roughing cutter I got from Enco. I'll find the numbers on that in a little bit. It's pretty nice for what it is and what I paid for it. The RPM I'm running at since I don't have a tack I'm assuming is about maybe thousand, fifteen hundred. It's just all, it could be lower, it could be higher, it's just an assumption. My Sherline's set up with the 10,000 RPM spindle, so obviously I know it's not spinning that fast. When I'm taking the cut, it's a full three quarters, just about three quarters of an inch depth, and it has about a 10,000th step over per pass, and all things considered, I call that pretty impressive for a machine of this size to pull off something like that. You can see also I have a uh, coolant system set up. It's running some it's now a slightly thicker, cool 77, and I had originally been using a little oil can, but I just couldn't keep oil on it, and obviously water will suck more heat away, and the cool, cool mist should help with that, so let's give this little bad boy a shot. <laughs> If we don't flood the work area, I'll shut the coolant off. Right. At the moment, the mill is being used as a manual machine because of the fact that something went wrong with the original Sherline board, so I'm having to crank the motors by hand, but I'm guessing the feed rate's about maybe two to three, three to four inches a minute, not exactly sure. If I do, when I do get the thing CNC'd with the gecko board, which I'm saving up for at the moment, I'll definitely run some tests and find the optimal feed and speed, but moment, at least it's cutting. All right, we've stepped the tool over and now we're gonna start taking another cut with coolant. doing it by hand and I'm lazy I'm not backing it off obviously You can cut steel re at, a re at all things considered a reasonable rate on a Sherline. Um, you guys can you can see that the rougher leaves a obviously a rougher finish if you can tell. Down here was fly cut to square the block up, and up here was um, rough cut with the rougher but a simple finish pass with a 
four fluid end mill would definitely do the trick. By nature, roughing end mills require more, a little more torque to run, but the trade-off is you can take a much deeper cut, and they also break the chips down to these little pieces, which makes it a lot easier to manage. So, overall, I'm I'm very impressed with it. I'll try and find some numbers and calculate out an approximate feed rate that I'm running at. So, talk to you guys later. Hey everyone, I found the uh, end mill here on Enco. Here's the model number. It's a 3217010. Sorry about the refresh rate on the monitor. It's a uh, coarse tooth roughing end mill. It's a quarter inch size. It's 3 eighths length of cut and it's got it's made from M2AL high speed steel which is a bit tougher and definitely holds up better. I'd be a little careful using it on aluminum but if you're keeping the RPM slow and you're keeping a lot of coolant on it that should prevent any um, sticking issues. For being a cheap roughing end mill it's actually pretty impressive. Obviously if I had something like a Niagara or a Hanita or something like that it would definitely be a little bit better, but I said for the price being on sale, of which I don't know how long that'll last, it was definitely well worth the money. I also calculated out my feed rate to be about two to four inches a minute. Obviously, if, when I off camera, I was able to slightly speed up the RPM and feed through it a lot faster. So it's the trade-off you have to make with these little machines, but as long as you can keep the tooling cool, it's definitely well, you can definitely cut tougher materials such as steels. I just need to work on getting a tack and a uh, driver board for the mill so I can start cutting parts without needing to sit there and babysit it the whole time, which can get a little bit boring after a while. So, thanks for watching.